Hello, hello, Keisha Johnson here. Welcome to day four of our Walking for His Glory Challenge and day four of our Mental Mastery Challenge. So I am just here to share our exercise for the day. And my prayer is that you have completed the previous three exercises because I promise you, if you take the you know 10 or 15 minutes a day um, that's required to complete the Mental Mastery Challenge or Mental Mastery Exercises, your life will be completely changed. It will not look the same um, 30 days from now. Um, so day four is creative, positive affirmations. Hello to those of you that are just tuning in. Um, I'm just going to dive right in. And for those of you that need to catch the replay, you can do that. So today is titled creative, positive affirmations. Hello. And then remember, this is coming from the book, Think Yourself Thin by JJ Smith. And I shared the link to the book in um, the caption of the video. And so the food for thought for today is allow your mind to work with your body to transform yourself from the inside out. And everything that we do needs to be a transformation from the inside out. I always say that anything we're dealing with on the outside is really just a manifestation of what's going on on the inside. And that's whether it's if you're having problems with your skin, problems with your weight, problems with your hair, problems with your nails, really anything that you're dealing with on the outside is really a manifestation of what's going on on the inside. And that's both spiritually and physically. Yes, I have my Fitbit on today. I remembered. All right. And so our food for thought for today is allow your mind to work with your body to transform yourself from the inside out. And this is today's exercise. She says, it's time to start communicating to your mind. Positive affirmation affirmations are positive phrases you repeat to yourself that describe how you want to be. You can use positive affirmations to create change you, to create the change that you desire, whether that is weight loss, quitting smoking or any bad habit. We know that our words are powerful, right? Our words shape and form our world. So I believe wholeheartedly in speaking affirmations. And of course, you know, speaking the word of God. Since we are focusing on weight loss, below are some positive affirmations that focus on the change you want to create in your life. You should repeat these affirmations for two times daily. And I honestly say three times daily. And what I want to also add is to go to the word and find two verses pertaining to weight loss, pertaining, you know, to goals or pertaining to um, temptations or anything like that, whatever area you're. I am so sorry. A phone call came in. I did not put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but it's on Do Not Disturb now. And I always say to repeat and read the scripture out loud three times a day, morning, noon, and night. All right. But she suggested two. All right. She said, since we are focusing on weight loss, below are some positive affirmations that focus on the change you want to create in your life. You should repeat these affirmations for two times daily. I say three so that you will, so that every cell in your body can imagine them. She said to begin loving your body and your true self post the following affirmation statements on a note card or in your journal and read them every day before you leave for work or go to bed and I know that there are some of you that just joined us in the group and you may just be diving in so I shared on this journey all you will need is a pen and listen is I always encourage a new pen right and a new journal specifically um, for this challenge and all you need is an open heart an open mind to receive what it is the Lord um, wants you to have on this journey and so the affirmation she has here is I will have a loving relationship with food and I'll take a screenshot of this and share it in the comments I will have a loving relationship with food I know that food is a gift from God that I am grateful for because it nourishes my body I will not be afraid to get on the scale because the number I weigh isn't as important as the overall healthiness of my body. A healthy body is a beautiful body. The number on a scale does not matter. A healthy body is a beautiful body. Because listen, everybody that's slim is not healthy. Everybody that's small is not healthy. All right? I will not be ashamed of my body, for it is just the house for my spiritual and mental self. It does not define my true self. Number four, the fourth affirmation, I will forgive myself and other people. No more arguing and fighting, only letting go of stresses, failures, and disappointment. 
And listen, that right there is spiritual. And I tell people all the time, and I feel like I need to do this maybe in the group before this 30 days is over. Um, there are 12 steps to forgiveness. And I tell people all the time, a lot of times when you're hanging on to unwanted weight is because you're holding on to unforgiveness. And when you release that unforgiveness, you will release the unwanted weight. When you release that weight in the spirit, you know, hanging on to that unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, or whatever it is that you're feeling towards other people, the weight will begin to come off. All right. So that's a big one. Um, and then the fifth one is I am thankful for my body and look forward to a slimmer but this is the key, healthier body as I become more enlightened about healthy eating. And so I shared that on this journey that we're on walking for his glory, we're not necessarily focusing on meals. You know, some certain uh, challenges I've ran in the past, I provide meal plans and things like that. But the focus for this is for us to be physically active. Yes. Wise words for sure. And to move our bodies. But, um, I want to encourage you from this day, from day four on, if you just just challenge yourself to replace one unhealthy meal for a healthy meal. It doesn't matter whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Just commit for the rest of this challenge, for the rest of this 30 days, and say, I am going to replace one unhealthy meal for a good meal. And for those of you that are on live right now, even those of you that are catching the replay, I want you to comment, please. All right, I need y'all to, to, to participate, um, to comment which meal are you going to replace for a healthy meal. If you don't eat so healthy for breakfast, say, you know what, I'm going to replace my unhealthy foods for breakfast with a healthy meal, or whether it's lunch or whether it's dinner, you know, challenge yourself to replace one meal, all right? And so that's it. And I, I will take a picture of the affirmations and share it in the comments and listen i pray that you know these exercises have been blessing you all if you want to get the book you can you don't have to because again i said i'll show up every day and share um the exercises and so this book really is two parts um it has the the first part which is an actual book and then the back is the 30-day mental mastery challenge so um Okay, awesome, great job, Linda, great job. And so the goal for today is to walk 6,500 steps. And for those of you that are nowhere near that, no need to freak out. Um, it's just a goal. You need something to aim towards. As long as you know you did your very best, even if you walked 3,000 steps, if that was your very best, celebrate that. You know, if you walk 2,000 steps, if that was your very best, the best that you could do today, celebrate that. Don't freak out when you see people posting, you know, 10,000 steps. I think we've seen as high as maybe, what, 22,000? No. Yeah, 22,000 steps. It just, I was like, that sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even sound right saying that. But yes, 22,000 steps. That's all right. We're not here to compare what it is that we're doing to anybody else. The goal is just to be active. Um, and what time is it right now? It's, uh, what time is it? It's, uh, oh, is it four o'clock already? It's four o'clock. If you have not started moving yet, you still have time. Get up, get moving. Uh, that, yes, I know. I was like, 22,000? That didn't sound right. <laughs> you see, I kind of stuttered when I said that. But yes, 22,000. And I think on that particular day, I hit 10,000 and got my 30 minute workout in. So that was my best. I didn't go, oh my gosh, I'm leading a group and I only walked 10,000 steps. No, no, no. I did my best for the day. You know, 10,000 and my 30 minute workout. That's usually my goal for the day. Um, you know, the, the recommended steps for the day is 10K. So as long as I hit that 10K, I'm good. And as uh, you know, get that 30 minute workout in, I'm good. Um, if I ever get to 20,000 steps, 22,000 steps in a day, that's all right. But if not, I'm okay with that. So, um, and remember the only person we are challenging is ourselves. We're just doing better than we did the day before. So remember today's goal is 6,500 steps. And I think it was Tuesday, we were supposed to do five burpees. And I believe it was yesterday, the five push-ups. So if you didn't get your five burpees and your five push-ups done, 
you can make up and get it done today. Do the modified um, and just, you know, even if you can do one burpee, one push up, just do your best. All right. That's right. We only compete with ourselves. That's right. We're not here. We're not competing. And I need, what's another word besides challenge? I really need to think because every time I say the word challenge, I just don't like how it feels. So from going forward, I'm going to pick a choose another name, maybe a 30 day journey or something. I just don't like personally. Um, and I've been doing it, been running these groups for seven years now, and I've always called them challenges. And I think I'm going to change that going forward. I, I just, I don't know. It's just a personal thing. Um, I'm going to change that. I'll call it a journey or what's another word for, for challenge? Y'all maybe can give me some ideas. Um, so that's it. Oh, I thought somebody was coming up to my house. So um, I was on, I came on a lot later um, than I usually do. This was just the only time um, that I had. You're on five days early. Okay. Okay. I'm on a five day early morning. All right. I love it. All right. So I'm going to let you all go. Um, I hope that you all are taking your 15 minutes a day to um, complete the exercises. I promise you, if you do, your life will not look the same after 30 days. Okay. So that's it. Um, remember to post your step counts at the end of the night. If you have a Fitbit tracker, you can just take a picture of your steps posted in the group, do a screenshot um, of the app. Even if you don't have a Fitbit tracker, it doesn't matter. All trackers are welcome. All right. So I love you all. Have a great day. And there is, um, I think it's still in the group. Um, Leslie Sansone has a video on YouTube where you can get 500 steps in a certain amount of minutes. Don't quote me on it. I'm going to try to find it. It may be under the announcement tab, but I'm going to post it in the group. A great way to get some more steps in is to watch Leslie Sansone's videos, or I even have replays of some of my indoor walking videos in here. So, all right, you all have an amazing evening, and I can't wait to see everybody's steps tonight. Um, most oftentimes, I don't see all of the posts until the morning because I try to get to bed at a somewhat decent time because I have to get up at three o'clock in the morning. So, okay, I, you know, Marion, I thought it was 505 minutes, and I'm like, Maybe it's not five minutes. So I was right. Thank you. I'll look in the group and see if it's still under the announcements tab. And the great thing about that video is you can do 500 steps in, in five minute increments throughout the day. Like if you're sitting down or listen, if you're watching television, right, you can walk in place. Let me help y'all. When you're brushing your teeth, you brush your teeth walking in place. When you're watching television, you can watch television walking in place. When you're scrolling social media, you can scroll social media walking in place. When I'm on uh, phone calls, I'm on the phone walking in place. And sometimes people wonder why I sound winded. They don't know that I'm walking in place while I'm on the phone. While you're cooking, you could be walking in place. You know, um, there's a lot of things that you could be doing um, to get those steps in. And then you can take five minutes here, five minutes there, five minutes there, press play play and get 500 steps so you know there's a lot of ways um to get your steps in so that's it i hope that helped and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye y'all <laughs> thanks again marion <laughs>